Hey guys, good morning. Hey, I'm gonna make a little short video here about the Gen Ace 3800 fitting on your 600 Pro with no modification. Just to show you what I did is, uh, you know, like your battery tray, you put instead of using the the Velcro straps, I would use this uh, mounting tape the 3M I actually use it for my 3GX right over here I've used two of them and they are awesome and I even use it to connect all my I like my satellite wiring outside you know but my whole build was pretty clean other than than that so anyways and uh, it's also good that you use extra battery trays a lot of people only buy one battery tray but they're really not that expensive so I like my uh, light posts already have on their battery tray permanently so I don't have to take them off take them on you know like this one right here my 3300 sky light posts let's see how uh, I didn't even use the double Velcro strap, the double Velcro mounts that they supplied. So let's move ahead here. So use this, and then you put your double tape. You can see some of it right there, the excess right there. And then you need to go buy this tape. It's like a packaging tape. It's actually similar to what the LiPo manufacturers use to seal their batteries you know you can see it right here it's more of coarse than what I have but in order to make them fit that's all you need and uh, just ignore this red tape this red tape right here is actually a balancing tape and I used that but it was so weak and you can see a little bit of a uh, tear right here so when you slide it in and out it's really tight so you really gotta wrap it in there really good see and then uh, it fits in there perfectly and I didn't modify anything inside my tray so let's slide it in this is the Gen 6 3800 see here we'll try to hold the camera at the same time see they're sliding in line up the front here, let me get this camera. It's easier. Yep. Slide it in, and you'll hear it. <laughs> That was my uh, ringtone there. But anyways, sorry about that. And uh, that's it. It looks, looks good to me. No need to cut the Dremel, the mounts, the supports inside. Let me see if I can get in here. Ooh. Anyways. Get a better video. And there, and they fit just right. Now you can notice the weight, but it's good for casual, mild 3D flyers. You can actually fly for uh, six, seven minutes on Gen Ace. Well, I'm running 2300 RPM, so I'm running it at six minutes. But my 3300s, I run it for five minutes at 2300 RPM, and they're both uh, hitting 80% capacity. And uh, there you have it. Oh, and I bought my row blades, and I love them. So I'm gonna get to test out the castle updates today too, 4.0. My buddy CJ said it was awesome. He could really tell the difference. So there you guys have it, and uh, pulling it out also was easy. Yeah, yeah. Like this. 
kind of hard to do at the same time.